The American Parasite No one thought it could happen in North America. A parasite that uses your body as its personal feeding ground, taking over first your stomach, then your entire GI tract, forcing you to crave the foods it wants, while slowly destroying your body from the inside out. Governments are finally admitting that this is real. Measures have been proposed in New York and the country of Mexico to try and stop it. But by the time you watch this, it may already be too late. Perhaps the scariest thing is that its symptoms come on slowly. You may never even realize your fatigue, weight gain, or lack of sleep is the result of this bad bug until it finally takes over and forces you to seek medical attention. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a simple test you can do to find out whether or not you've been infected, and if so, how to get rid of it before it causes potentially irreversible damage. Warning, the information I'm about to share with you is controversial because this parasite comes from the most unlikely place, your food supply. But it's about time someone pulled back the curtain. That's why I've spent a considerable amount of time and my own money over the last few months creating this video that they do not want you to see. So if you're serious about the health of your family, turn off your cell phone, take a seat, and make sure you watch every word of this presentation. What you are about to see and hear may shock you, but it may also save your life. Let's get started. The year was 1950. The death rate by heart disease in America had jumped to an astonishing 30%. Only far back as the 1900s, it was 10%. In just 50 years, deadly heart attacks had increased by a factor of three times. People were dropping dead at an alarming rate, and no one could figure out why. Enter government researcher Ansel Keys. Mr. Keyes was a Harvard-educated scientist who had helped design rations for the U.S. Army during World War II. Mr. Keyes set out to discover why Americans had the highest rate of heart attacks out of any of the first world countries. In what would later become known as the Seven Country Study, Mr. Keyes discovered that Mediterranean nations had the lowest heart attack rates in the world. Their diet also contained the lowest amount of fat. He concluded the American high-fat diet was to blame for our heart attack problem. Correct or not, finally, the public had an answer. In 1956, representatives of the American Heart Association appeared on television to inform the public that a diet which included fats, such as butter and lard, and fatty foods, such as eggs and beef, would directly lead to deadly coronary heart disease. The government's own health officials began recommending people adopt a low-fat diet to protect themselves and their families. If it didn't say low-fat on the label, people stopped buying it. The conglomerates scrambled to find new recipes that would allow them to call their products low-fat, yet still taste good. Food scientists were called in by the dozens, and finally they discovered something even better. You see, unlike fat, this new flavor additive was actually addicting. It goes by many different names, but you may know it best as refined sugar. Did the food industry know it was dangerous? Even many doctors of the 1950s would argue they certainly did. A 2012 study by Dr. Robert Lustig of the University of California, San Francisco, revealed that sugar is just as addictive to the human brain as cocaine, setting off the same dopamine triggers and forcing us to crave more and more of it. Over the last 30 years, more and more of these refined sugars, artificial sweeteners, preservatives, and other unnatural elements have infiltrated our food supply, creating essentially a new diet without ever giving us a choice. This September, Paul van der Velpen, the head of Amsterdam's health service, spoke out to call sugar an addictive drug that should be tightly regulated. What do these unnatural things actually do once we put them in bodies? Why did the dogs in F. Majandi's study die faster when sugar was added to their diets? Why are more people getting sick than ever before? Why are more people suffering from obesity than ever before? And why is cancer predicted to soar by 50% by the year 2020? The answer may frighten you, as it did me. Doctors are now saying it could be the widest spread health hazard to hit North America since cigarettes, polio, HIV, or hepatitis. In our lifetimes, this one thing will affect more Americans than all four of these combined. In 2005, molecular biologists at Rice University estimated it was already affecting 70% of the American population. What is it? Because this disease takes over your body from the inside. Most never even know it is there until it's too late. Its name is Candida. Candida is a natural resident of your digestive tract, 
along with 25 trillion other bacteria, some good and some bad. So long as the balance stays in order, which scientists say now is 80% good bacteria to 20% bad, your digestive and immune systems will continue to function normally. But here's where the problem starts. Candida is a member of the yeast family. And do you know what yeast likes to eat? You guessed it. Refined sugars, artificial sweeteners, and preservatives. All of the things that have been added to our food supply in just the last 50 or so years. When you feed the candida, it starts to breed faster and faster and faster. Soon it has outnumbered the good bacteria in your stomach. Then it makes its way into your upper and lower intestine and throughout your entire GI tract. Before long, it begins to expand into other parts of your body, resulting in serious medical problems that can cripple your ability to enjoy a happy life. Fatigue, weight gain, sleeplessness, bloating and gas, irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, skin problems, fungal infections. These are just the start of the havoc Candida can wreak onto your body. If you're suffering from any one of these symptoms, it's very likely this parasite is to blame. The reason Candida is so dangerous is because it directly affects your digestive system, which is the largest internal organ in your body. It's also the home of your immune system. So when your digestive tract is weakened, so is your ability to combat sickness and disease. Left untreated, it can begin to affect every area of your life. General symptoms include chronic fatigue, loss of energy, general malaise, decreased libido, sensitivity to foods, chemicals, or other allergens, eczema, psoriasis, irritable bowel syndrome, toenail fungus. Gastrointestinal symptoms include thrush, bloating and gas, intestinal cramps, rectal itching, altered bowel functions such as diarrhea or constipation, yeast infections, frequent bladder infections, irritable bladder. Hormonal complaints include menstrual irregularities like pain or bleeding, premenstrual syndrome, thyroid dysfunction. Nervous system complaints include depression, irritability, inability to concentrate. Immune system complaints include allergies, chemical sensitivities, low immune function. And if your past history includes chronic yeast infections, chronic antibiotic use for infections or acne, oral birth control pill usage, or oral steroid hormone usage, your chances of having candida overgrowth are greatly increased. One of the scariest things about candida is the way it begins to reprogram you to crave more of the foods it wants. It hijacks taste buds, brain chemistry, and hormones to make you want foods that make it grow faster and mess you up even more. Breads, sugars, refined carbs, sodas, fried foods, carb-heavy foods like pizza and pasta, and of course, desserts and sweets. Do you often find yourself craving these things? If so, it's probably not because you're a naturally unhealthy eater but because the bad bacteria has taken over. It's like they're down there in your stomach yelling, feed me, forcing you to want foods that worsen your condition, make you gain weight, and make it literally painful for you to go on a diet that doesn't include them. Candida has also been linked to many studies showing it could be the number one cause of obesity. Here's the good news. To start feeling better, you don't have to necessarily get rid of all of the candida. You just need to balance them out. As I mentioned before, your gut is also home to a lot of good bacteria. To start feeling your best, you just need to get to the 80-20 balance. 80% 80 good bacteria, 20% bad bacteria. Probiotics are clusters of good bacteria that, like a powerful army, go into your stomach and form colonies that far outnumber the candida. Scientists have recently figured out how to load your gut with probiotics without having to change your diet at all. They've been able to put these living bacteria into pill form, so you can take them with your meals, no matter what those meals may be. They offset the bad foods you eat, populate your gut with good bacteria, and instinctively balance you to the right ratio. Once this happens, all sorts of exciting changes can happen in your body. You have more energy, feel more alert and more active. You can focus better on work. You feel smarter, more productive, more creative. Many no longer have the need for coffee or caffeine as your body is now able to get more energy from food and tap into it easily. Many also find weight begins to fall off, since your gut processes food more efficiently. If you've had trouble losing weight in the past, it could be because the candida have clogged up your digestive tract, which can greatly slow down your metabolism. You'll also notice those carb and sugar cravings fade away. You'll actually find yourself craving good, healthy foods that make you look and feel great. 
All in all, your digestive tract contains 60% of the cells in your body. So it's no surprise that clearing it up can make you feel like a whole new person. Oh, and before I go, I feel it's important I tell you about one more thing. It's important we talk about the costs of not taking care of your gut. Because this is not a problem that fixes itself. If you are currently suffering from fatigue, irritable bowel syndrome, skin rashes, reduced sex drive, low energy, obesity, or lack of sleep, then chances are you are one of the 80% of Americans who has some form of candida overgrowth. The scariest part is that with 70% of your immune system in your digestive tract, if it can't function properly, you become susceptible to not just getting sick, but to some very nasty diseases like ulcerative colitis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and arthritis. And those can't be cured by balancing your gut. That's why it's critical you get this handled now before it's too late. Inside your body, there are trillions of bacteria that are good and bad. Your body depends on certain types of healthy bacteria called probiotics to maintain a healthy balance in your digestive system. Too few of these may result in gas, bloating, or other issues associated with poor gut health. Probiotics is a specialized mix of the probiotics your body needs to flourish, both inside and out. Probiotics supports healthy digestion, contributes to healthy weight loss, promotes full nutrient absorption, and helps reduce gas and bloating associated with poor gut health. This tasty powder mix is expertly designed to provide your body with the healthy bacteria or probiotics it needs to maintain its ideal balance and support immune health plus a normal metabolism. Probiotics rushes exactly the right kind and quantities of live and healthy cultures directly to your digestive system, helping your body begin to regain its balance while reducing gas and bloating. And because probiotics is a delicious and fast-absorbing powder, it begins working as soon as it touches your tongue, supporting your oral health. The probiotic strains in probiotics then get to work, helping to break down the nutrients in your food and fighting off the bad bacteria in your gut. This fast-acting blend of live probiotic strains flourish in both the upper and lower intestines, helping your body absorb the nutrition from the food and supplements you take in. Pair probiotics with a healthy diet and see yourself thrive, both inside and out. Probiotics is an essential part of Zingular's ultimate system, supporting every aspect of your healthy habits and weight loss efforts.